Like I say, I built the Eiffel Tower too. White Star Line Company, uh, Empire State Building. Um, I mean, well that, well, that was some Irishman. I love... Never forget you. You guys are awesome. Um, Irish steel workers and stuff like that. But the Eiffel Tower, uh, technically the Statue of Liberty too, was kind of like one of my projects as well. But the... Um, the White Star Line ships, of course, the Lusitania, the Leviathan, uh, a couple of their L ones, and of course, also the Titanic also came from my Belfast shipyard, LS shipyards. Like I said, also, I mean, I own the um, the, the the Helena Troy um, shipyards as well. Uh, she was one of the girls that was uh, that was working for me back way back when. So you know. And that's probably why you still know about her, is because she was Lucifer White Star Line, basically me. She was she was one of the people I hired or whatever to or had launching ships and stuff like that. Um, you know, I mean, uh, and also like the LSF um, uh, LSF Space Colony ship. I mean, there's a lot of ships. Also, I I invented or designed the Twin Towers building. Um, you know, after after I basically became whatever I was, I could just think about things and they and they would just be built and stuff like that. Like I said, 12 types of life, exoskeletons, 1.5s. I mean, what I am is epic and existential. You know, 800 galaxies, Earth, and, and there was some time, space stuff and all kinds of... There's, you know, we had all kinds of projects going on and so there was some truly tricky, trippy stuff, basically. Real, real world, real existence, trippy stuff. So, anyway, going on. Anyway, uh, somehow um, uh, a few people developed or got or, or, or saw a way that they could lie about stuff or try and get themselves into a position or something like that. Anyway, it's something, 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 basically World War One, World War Two, and basically a bunch of stuff happened and then a bunch of people started lying about what happened. Uh, like I said, um, apparently... Um, John McCain was was uh, what was actually doing the Vietnam War to cover up what they did or what he did back in World War One or World War Two or something like that as a twenty year old kid, like they did they did a bunch of stuff or or did or did a bunch of things back when, and the intelligence that I had said basically John McCain was basically trying to cover up some stuff that they did back in World War One or World War Two. And basically, and basically, that's why he was killing people in Vietnam or something like that, or something. And so he he killed the whole entire Japanese or Chinese council or something like that in Vietnam, or at least all the male parts. Like I said, John McCain or someone thought that it was just the males that mattered or something like that, and they didn't realize that the females were also the leader of China or Japan or whatever. And they killed the male parts, thinking or whatever, thinking that that, that 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 would basically whatever. But of course, there was you know the the Japanese or Chinese Empire basically had man and woman as leaders basically, so they just killed the men and didn't kill the women or something like that. Anyway, though, whatever. Basically, um, John McCain or or whoever didn't really realize how how the structure of of Japan or China or the agents worked. And basically, he didn't, you know, anyway, whatever. I don't really know. Like I said, you'll have to ask China or Japan or the Asians, basically, about it. Like I said, they have their own civilization. They're, it's, th- th- their civilization was loosely based on me and basically loosely loosely had had ties into my civilizations or my things. And basically, you know, they were just one of the parts. Mwah! I love you. I love you too, long time. <laughs> I love you forever too. <laughs> like that. Um, I love the Japanese and Chinese. Like, like I said, they... There are very few better life form types or races or whatever. Or, you know, species other than Chinese. They are, they are amazing. And I love them. Like I said, I adore them. I'm very sorry for what happened in, in Japan or whatever. If that was a mistake on my part. And I think I tried to stop it, or whatever. I was trying not to do it. I don't know. I was under a lot of pressure, you understand. You know, people don't really understand how much... You know, they came down on me like a ton of bricks. Like, Brian was unknown. So, or relatively unknown. So a lot of bad things happened. Hey, whatever. It's in the past. So, 
Anyway, but yeah. It was a fight for our lives. Actually, it was a fight for our very existence. Or something like that. And like I said, the problem that everyone faced, they all had the, all these plans about White Star Lines and Lucifer, and the problem that they all ran into is the fact that I am your creator. And therefore, see, Nixon, JFK, Jimmy Carter, even Rodney, even Rosalie, even a lot of people in existence and in time and space could just, you could just be like, well, you're not going to be born. Or, well, you're never going to do that. You know, but me, and where everyone was like, <laughs> against this wall, basically, that was Lucifer White Star Lines, is basically, I'm not just a manager or owner of a company. I don't just work in Germany. I don't just have ties into America. I am your actual, real, physical and complete embodiment of your creator, Lucifer White Star, also known as Brian. And that's where everyone would be like, I'll just go kill him. It's like, well, you know, there is no possibility of hiding who my true identity. There is no possibility of hiding who I am. I am the one who named your country, America. I am the one who set the tone and the standard for White Star Lines. I am the one who dictated all those, all those ship captains to go to school to become great epic ship captains that they were. I am the one who set up Lloyd's of London to be an insurance company, or whatever they were. Originally there was something, you know, I am the one who has basically been... Your existence is bound, tied, knotted, and basically intertwined with my existence. So much so that there is no possibility of you denying me or eliminating me from existence. I wrote your constitution. I declared America's independence. Even if somebody else did it on my behalf back in time, it was still coming from me. So, George Washington was no one. He was just a guy, a name, an idea, compared to me, Lucifer Star. I am more than just a, mos a mascot. I am more, more than just someone you can snuggle and, and come around and ask for, for protection. That's why everyone, that's why, I mean, Borg Collective, other life forms, you know, Nixon and JFK and Jimmy Carter and the presidents and the Congress all thought they could. And it's like, I don't think that's possible. Besides, you can go as far that way as you can to the farthest star. And they're there because of me. Or you can go that way. Or that way, or that way, or that way. Every star's existence is tied to my own. You literally can't, <clears throat> you couldn't un unexist or eliminate me or deny me without denying your own existence and the stars that you live by. So, calling me crazy will, will amount to nothing. You can put a <clears throat> hundred scientists, a hundred theorists in front of me, or a hundred other people in front of me, a thousand, a million. It won't make any difference. Brian had to be known about. I'm the one who dictated your, your constitution and invented your government, America. You couldn't have America without me. So, you can say what you will, and I was more than just America. I was this for White Star Lines company, mining and shipping. You know, I just kind of went... Tick, 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 tick. So... Even Trumpy would be like, <laughs> it's like, who's Trump anyway? What's his real name? Albert? Chuck? <laughs> and whatever. You know, I'm I'm the one. I'm the leader of of, of Unit Seven Thirty One. They were just doing what I what I asked them to do. 
they would try and blame me and say that I had had done this, done that, blah, blah, blah. But my Chinese and Japanese assured me that it wasn't like that. And like I say, I believe my Chinese and Japanese. They would never lie to me. They would never lie. So if they say it wasn't like that, then it wasn't like that. The Chinese and the Japanese are completely, totally honest. And they would never do anything, any atrocities, nor anything wrong. So, because I know them. I've known them for thousands or millions of years. They're very good and honorable people. So anyway, I know that Unit 731 was a good unit. Anyway, so I'm sorry Vietnam vets. I'm sorry everyone else, but you know, just like I know the Irish. They would never do anything bad. They're good and honorable people. They had built many buildings for me. So, anyway. Hey, whatever. So, yeah.